This playthrough is rated E10+. The ancestors of the Belmont family are doomed to confront the power of evil incarnate, Dracula. In 1917, a countess sought to revive the long-dead spirit of the vampire. Her name was Elizabeth Bartley. To revive him, she needed to travel all over Europe, enlisting help from all the powers of darkness. Two young vampire hunters set out to fulfill their destiny, push back the evil hordes, and drive the vampire back into his dark netherworld. Ooh, some Genesis goodness. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valdemar back here with another new game for the Halloween season, and it's Castlevania Bloodlines for the Sega Genesis, produced by Konami in 1994 with their backup studio. While they were working on Super Castlevania, another group worked on this game. So one thing you can do, other than pressing Start and Password, if you go to the Options menu, we actually have the uh, chance to change our difficulty. We can change it to Easy or Normal mode and change how many lives we have. We'll go ahead and just do five, just to save me some trouble. Now this game does work a little bit different than the previous Castlevanias. In the per previous Castlevanias, you can continue how after you often you want and use passwords to get to certain points. However, in this game, we actually do have a limited amount of password, or uh, continues. However, if you soft reset the console, you can actually continue, keep playing. They just... Had to go some weird arbitrary way to do this. You can also customize the controls. You can change the BGM and uh, sound effects. And there's actually a reason why you want to do this. I'm not going to do it now. I'll save it for when we actually beat the game. Um, oh, why you'd want to mess with this. You know, codes and Konami and all this other stuff. But let's uh, just play the game for now and start. Uh, now, unlike other uh, uh, Castlevanias, I was about to say another game series. Unlike other Castlevania games, we can actually choose our protagonist. There's two different ones. John Morris... Born in December 12th, 19, or 1895 in Texas, USA. Weapon, the Vampire Killer. Now, the idea for this game is supposed to be, it's supposed to take place in the Castlevania universe. However, the one defining feature about this game is that it's, the, the Dracula novel, the Bram Stoker novel, actually, like, the story he wrote, it actually occurred in this world. So that's where the John Morris, you know, he's um, uh, related to Quincy Morris from the books. Um, and then we got Eric Licarde. I'm not sure where his originality is. And yeah, the cutscene at the beginning shows him with blonde hair. Why does he have black hair? I don't know, folks. I guess a weird coding issue or they weren't paying attention when actually programming the game or something like that. But anyway, Eric Licarde, uh, born in May 3rd, 1892 in Segovia, Spain. Weapon, the Alucard Spear. And yeah, it's assumed Alucard... This is actually a spear of Alucard, which, like I said, Castlevania, just dra the Dracula novel takes place. But anyway, yeah, the difference is you either play as John Morris, which is the standard gameplay, similar to most of the Belmonts, while Eric Licardi plays a little bit different with the spear. Uh, the difference really is his spear, like, he, uh, when you upgrade, it gets longer, and he has the ability to hit upwards. In this game, we don't have the Super Castlevania ability to hit in all directions. Now, for the main pay playthrough, I'm just going to play as John Morris and keep it classic. However, there is a you can replay the game again, and I'll do that as Eric, but I'll only show bits and pieces of that gameplay. So, anyway, let's start the classic adventure of Bloodlines. Ruins of the Castle Dracula, Romania. Man, just listen to that Sega Genesis uh, chip goodness, you know. Man, I kind of kind of miss the Sega Genesis sound sound chip. I wish. Uh, that's I mean I mean I still like the Super Nintendo sound. Oh yeah, uh, some of the upgrades are different in this game. Like there's, um, and we don't get hearts in this game. We get gems for whatever weird reason. But yeah, like Castlevania before, you get upgrades. Your whip it, it gets higher, or you know longer. I don't know how I got hit by that. And we got a new sub weapon here. The I mean it's the boomerang. But it's changed, obviously, slightly since the original game. And obviously, we've got some uh, zombies here that are easy to kill. Um, this one, yeah, this one, oh, we got the invincibility uh, sphere, which allows us to just go in and take out, take names. 
I mean, I can't even hit that from here. There we go. We got the axe item. Sub weapon. Yeah, it doesn't last super long, but, uh, oh well. But yeah, the sub weapons are quite a bit different in this game. Just look at that thing. The axe is huge. Um, yeah, this is definitely a different game. And that, it's almost like the game, the team who made this was given a little bit more liberty with how they made the game. Uh, and obviously it still has the classic music as you can hear, see here. But, uh, uh oh, we got I, dude. Well, all right. Awesome. Ah, come on. There we go. And yeah, the breakable cases are uh, easy to see, or breakable walls are easy to see in this game. Made it a little bit easier. I think there are some secret spots you can smack without that, but for the most part, it's pretty obvious, so. And I've got Merman. Wow, their design is completely different for this game. Yeah, I, I, I this game is often forgotten in the grand scheme of, like, Castlevania lore. You know, mainly because it's it's a weird spin-off game uh, from the series because of the, like, the... You know, you're not playing a Belmont in this case, even though they mention the Belmonts. You're playing like a friend of the Belmonts. Um, I think, I'm trying to remember the story exactly, but basically Morris was gifted the vampire killer um, from the Belmonts because the Belmont family is either gone into either hiding or most of them died or something like that. And so the Morris family is like a spinoff of the, of the Belmonts. And from what I understand, their blood is not as strong as the Belmonts, so the vampire killer isn't, story-wise, isn't as strong as for Boris as it would be for a Belmont. I think they explain this a bit more in some um, extra errata, but also if you play the game Portrait of Runes, that's this that's actually a straight sequel to uh, this game. Um, yeah, it's one of those weird spin-offs. Oh, but anyway, we got a new upgrade for the whip. Yeah, if you get the uh, specific uh, upgrade, you can get the, uh, I don't know what you call it, the fire whip or whatever. Uh, but I didn't have that for very long now, did I? Yeah, this game is a little difficult. No, oh, should have ran back. Should have utilized the uh, sub weapon. Yeah, sub weapons are really useful in this game, especially if you're playing as uh, John. Yeah, just keep. Yeah, this guy's really easy. I mean, this game itself isn't—I wouldn't say super easy, but what the? No. Now, like all good villains, they gotta blow up. And we go on to the next area. Yeah, we're not quite done with this place yet. Um, oof. Yeah, I'm not doing very, doing very well. I'll admit, it has been a long time since i played this game. Um, it's what, like I said, it's often forgotten. So, and I, I, I mean, I knew of it, but it's one of those I, I don't play very often, so I actually forget about it, despite it being a good game. I think it's a good game anyway. There we go. Meet the walls. Yeah, I think people, sh I mean, people do play this. It's just, it's often, like, people don't remember this in, in the... I don't even think it was on the Castlevania collection now that I think about it. Like I said, it was a even though it's Konami, it was still like a different group and team, so it doesn't get the same love as the classics. I don't even think this game sold super well, if I recall, because it was on Genesis, because you know, most of the previous Castlevanias had been on a um, Genesis, you know, or Genesis, Super Nintendo, so. Uh, but yeah, this is the, the walls, the bone towers or whatever. They're a bit more... Uh, different. You have to actually kill all the towers. I think they eventually made that a thing in later Castlevanias where um, where the towers actually had multiple heads and forms. But yeah, see, I'm already um, almost dead. Then again, I, like I said, I'm not as... I don't remember this version as well, so you'll have to forgive me. I only remember bits and pieces. Like, some of the fights and everything like that. And I was thinking about, I was about to say maybe this one was harder to Super Castlevania, but I had trouble with that one, apparently, despite me making fun of it, you know. Yeah, let's go up this way. Ooh. I can't hit that, can we? Get that. No. Yeah, the vial works a bit different. The holy water works a bit differently. Instead of it just hitting and breaking and burning for quite a few minutes, it, it instantly breaks, and that's all you can do, so. Oh, well. Yep. Okay, good. And I like that they do have the classic um, Castlevania music here. Aha. Can't get up that way. It almost looks like I can for some reason. Alright, I gotta test my might. Or, you know, uh, or I need Daniel san from a Karate Kid to help me with this thing. You can you can smack that thing around all day, Mr. Skeleton Man. It ain't gonna hit me. Or maybe with how bad I am, who knows? You know. 
Anyway, more wall meat. Awesome. Yeah, they don't give me much time to grab it. That almost disappeared, almost. Come on, game. Give me a hot minute to grab it. Yeah. Uh -oh. Whoa. Run. Not grabbing that. No, sir. Uh oh, we got boss time or creature time. Oh, I. Nuts. There we go. Yeah, we're not. That's not the boss. <laughs> but I do like the uh, boss music for this one. Very creepy. Very nice. Probably end up having to redo this fight because I've lost too much health. Yeah. Mm. The boomerang probably would have worked. Boomerang is a pretty good sub weapon. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Ah. What are you... Man, this this game has that janky super, uh, 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 Genesis goodness, you know, where the, the uh, enemies just, like, move really, really weird and everything. Kind of reminds me of, uh... Oh, what was the name of that one? Vector... Vector Man or whatever? I think it was Vector Man, if I recall. Uh-oh. Ow. Ah! Yeah, it doesn't give me much time to, uh... We got him. Or not. I'm dead. <laughs> well, that was bad of me. Jeez. Aw, oh, he was about to die, too. No. Why Why are you so cruel, game? Ah, dang it. Yeah, not a good start. Oh, man. There we go. Yeah, he was about to die, too, when uh, he did that whole uh, pre... The boss, like, takes you out before, uh, before you can collect the prize or whatever. Man. Oh, well. Yeah, it was dumb of me to get really close to him. Yeah, the invincibility for Sphere for this is not very long. Like, you only have, like, um, so much time to, uh... Uh-oh. Ugh. Yeah, back up, you. Yeah, I can't I can't use the boomerang all the time now that I've uh, wasted it. Or I don't have my, um... Yeah, this guy reminds me of Vector Man, just the way he moves and everything like that. Yeah, I should have uh, played this a bit smarter, because this guy isn't that hard. Oh, well. Kind of reminds me of that one, one fight. You done? There we go. And we get the orb, like always. A little janky, but sounds great. To me, anyway. There's a password for the stage if you want it. Write it down, viewers. Stage 2, Atlantis Shrine, Greece. Oh, nice. I love the, uh, the little reflective water. Always a cool feature. Uh-oh. Got uh, minotaurs here. Yeah, and uh, uh, the game has a lot of uh, different type of enemies in this game, like minotaurs and stuff like that. It's a nice change of pace. Not that I don't like the classic enemies, but, you know, a lot of the Castlevania would use, like, the same kind of guys over and over again. But Bloodlines gives you a, a, a bit of a different repertoire between uh, the enemies and stuff like that. Whoops. Should have kept the... Uh... There we go. Yeah, if you can hit the holy water in the right spot, it still breaks, but if you throw it on the dude specifically, so... Nope. Nope, nope. Ah. No, uh, no semen for me. Or merman, whatever. On the next area. What up? Got ourselves some water. Water going up. But we can't go up. We can only go up so up. <laughs> anyway. They don't give those guys spears. Not cool. Ah. Man, can someone stop this water, please? Please? I can't swim! Actually, I can swim. Just, I don't know. John Mor Maybe John Morris can't swim. Who knows? Not everyone needed to swim back in the days, you know? It wasn't a requirement. Actually, there's a lot of people who can't swim these days because uh, unless you live in an area that has water, like a beach or something, that's not really a priority. I mean, how often are you going to need to swim in a danger situation? You know? Then again, I was never that good of a swimmer in the first place. So. Even when I did learn to swim. like I, I couldn't do, like, crazy tricks or whatever to, to swim, you know what I mean? At least the game doesn't kill you if you get too high high up. The Genesis at least doesn't have that restriction for it. I better get past this guy before the water get. Oh, or the water stops. Alright. 
Cool, water stops at some point. Who knew? What the? What's that noise? Enemy! It's a wizard! A wi you're a wizard, Harry. R.I.P. Uh, um, Hagrid. Yeah, unfortunately, he d died recently, so. Oh, well. Uh oh. Gotta do this quickly before he uh, drowns us. Yeah, if you uh, take too long to do this, you can die from drowning. But luckily, we do not auto drown if we uh, um, if the water hits our, hits our feet. We actually, I think it has to go above our head before that happens. But yeah, if you take too long, he'll uh, drown you. So, yeah, good thing our axes are freaking huge, man. Woo! Yeah, we got the upgrade to the uh, ability. Too bad you only get this temporarily, though. Ah, dang it! And you lose it as soon as you get hit. Yeah, well then. Oh. Okay. Let's try this again. Now, this is one of those enemies you have to like get like right up on. You have to be careful. Yeah, too bad you don't get that super super ability for very long. As soon as you get hit, it's out. It's a really cool ability, and each sub weapon has kind of its own thing. What the more of you? Uh oh, looks like he has a he has a bit of a different trick. Actually, I'm trying to remember if we can no. Oh, actually, maybe you can if you get like right up under him. Nope, I guess not. I could have swore there was a there was one version of him I could I could uh, duck under. Maybe I'm. Ooh, okay. Any more of you? Okay. Yeah, this game has a lot of uh, sub bosses in here where you have to, you know, take out dangerous foes before even even get to the boss part of it. So, uh oh, looks like we're looks like we're going the other direction. No, oh, oops. Okay, good. No! Medusa heads. You hate them, don't you, viewers? No. Uh oh, better get to the other side before it becomes bad news bears. Yeah, I, I, I like that they have a kind of a little fl a flip up from previous. I could swear I was out of his range. Uh, flip up from previous games where, you know, you have to always avoid, like, the stairs or whatever. And, uh. Ah, come on. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not doing too well avoiding the Medusa heads. They're always a pain, no matter which version of Castlevania. They're never easy. It never gets easier. I do like the uh, soundtrack for this game. Very nice. I'm not sure what I, which game I'd prefer over the two. They both both games have a definitely have a um, something about them that makes them special. Whether it be Super Castlevania with its atmosphere, music, and uh, um, the different whip gameplay, but this has also has the music, different enemies, uh, different uh, different characters you can play as, stuff like that. So they're definitely dope. Both. I, I heard a lot of people kind of prefer this game over Super Castlevania, but I don't know, it really depends on my mood. All right, gotta push this thing. There we go. Push and whip. Destroying priceless artifacts since 1892 or whatever. Wow. Yeah, I kind of knew that was gonna happen. Whoops. Oh well. Let's continue on. All right. Aw, oh, man. Oh, well. That's not that bad. Yeah, I could have easily avoided him, but, uh... Well, that wouldn't have been very fun, though, would it? You know, to show off my skills. Haha. -ha. Fall down and die. Oops. Well, that shouldn't have happened. It's not like I don't get enough time to, like... There we go. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to get the upgrades. Oh yeah, you guys do a ton of damage for me, apparently, it seems like. Oh, you again. Ah! At least it doesn't take you, like, a million hits to take you guys out, so... Ah, man. There we go. Ah, well, I mean, that could work, I guess. The heck? It wouldn't even let me hit him. That was weird. Yeah, that was kind of odd, actually. I'm, just, I'm, I don't know why I didn't let me hit him. Actually, there we go. Right, time to smack this thing. Create ourselves our own bridge. Morris almost seems more impressive than some of the other bell ones. Just because he can do stuff like that, I remember the other bell ones being able to do that. So, I don't know. Yeah, I think if I remember correctly, I think John Morris makes another appearance in the actual. Um, in the Game Boy or Game DS game, should have. Uh, well, luckily, uh, luckily I was able to get to it in time. Oh, dang it! Oh man, I forgot. I forgot that that. Guy 
Alright, let's just keep... Oh, I'm out of uh, things. Whoops. There we go. Man. <laughs> already lost so many lives, and almost about to lose my other life. Uh-oh. Got ourselves a, a few uh, minotaurs here. Hmm. Yeah, not getting whatever's in there. I'm just gonna fight him and go. Well then, who's this bad boy? I must see. Uh oh, not good. No, uh -oh. gotta break him apart, man. Man, this, this music kind of reminds me of uh, Shiny Force, actually. I mean, it's the same sound chip. It's just some of the beats sound very familiar. Uh oh, ah. Yeah, not a good start. Yeah, we didn't even do any actual damage to him. We actually had to break him down before we can do that, so. All right, let's see if we can get enough uh, buffs before we uh, fight the boss. Unfortunately, unless I actually want to get all those uh, upgrades, I have to uh, not wait till they do it one more time. There we go. We'll take we'll take the whip full whip upgrade. All right, let's try that one more time. Show him who's boss. I've heard I've heard if you play as Lacarde, it's actually this game is actually easier. I mean, it's been forever since I've played as Lacarte, but or Lagarde or whatever you want to call. Him. Just gotta be careful about those rocks. Yeah. Yeah, some creepy music here. Yeah, I just have to pay attention to the rock fall. And hopefully he doesn't walk into me. Ugh. Ah, finally. And luckily... Ah. Luckily it actually doesn't take too many hits to get to him because of... Ah, oops. There we go. Because of the because how much work you have to go into beating him, the game lets you do like a ton of damage to him when you actually get to his w w actual form. <laughs> That'd be funny if he pull put out the middle finger right before he dis completely disappears. He's like, screw you! By the way, we are done. Like how they were trying to recreate the harpsichord for this, so. All right, password. Write it down, viewers. Maybe I should let that whole thing play next time. Stage three, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, Italy. I don't think you'd want to fight in that, would you? Because it's a Leaning Tower of Pisa. You know, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, the one thing that's about to fall apart, you know? I'm surprised, people are surprised it hasn't completely fallen apart yet. Anyway, we got some harpies here. Really annoying. But not that we can't handle. Or run away from. Either way. Ah! Stop. Uh oh, Minotaur's, <laughs> Minotaur's grabbing pillars. What is this nonsense? I do like the fact that some of the enemies do change over the course of the game, like in terms of like what they can do, depending on where you're at. You know, like... Like the Minotaur guys, for example, grabbing spears or charging at you or uh, or grabbing uh, pillars to fight you. Yeah, I think Boomerang is still best weapon in this, in this series. Even in this game. Duh. Ah, man. Not a good spot now, is it? Yeah, better run. They're doing a ton of damage to me. Luckily, uh... His weak spot is uh, the eye, so in his chain does not count as, as a um, encounter. And I'm already about to die again, jeez. Nah, just bare red. No reason to fight every single creature on the way here. Yeah, I do like the theme of this place. Everything's kind of leaning on its side, you know, because, you know, Lean Tower of Pisa, all that. Ah! Why give me the worst weapon in the game? Actually, it's it's a fine weapon. Yeah, they, did you notice that they don't have the uh, um, let's see. Hmm. How are you supposed to get that? 
Well, that's interesting. Maybe I'm in the wrong room. All right, let's try that again. That was actually surprising me. I was like, wait a minute, how did I make that jump? Keep going down. Nope. Ah. Ah. Nuts. Hmm. All right. Trying to remember how to get past this room. Oh, that's how. Right. I forgot you could do that as Morris. I actually generally forgot I could do that. Yeah. So. All right. Let's try that again. So. Yeah, see how I only get a couple continues? Yeah. But like I said, I know of a way to get around that, so no worries. And we actually start, like the continue starts us here. We don't actually have to redo the level again. Yeah, if I'd actually looked at the manual, I probably would have known I could do this as John. I did play some, I did some play testing ahead of time, but like I said, because this room, because the only time you can do this part is here. You can't, you can't do the whole up attack. Um, at other parts, if that makes sense. You can only do it in very certain sections of the game. So it's one of those things I actually generally forgot. I don't play the... To, to, to surprise you, I don't play through the whole game uh, when I play test it. I just have a general idea of what I want to do with it. Oh, no! Well, then. That's not good. That's a bad start. <laughs> Especially if I'm having trouble with the uh, uh, the jumping mechanic. Yeah, it didn't really give me much of a chance there. Unfortunately, there's really not a good playtest spot to to kind of figure out the controls a bit. Whoops. Well then. Yeah, I was trying to get a good like jump spot, but yeah, if you if you jump and jump and charge, it's uh not not good. Not good. Alright, try this one more time. Maybe this is where the hard part came in of this game, because I, I kind of remember this game being a little challenging. Uh, definitely more than Super Castlevania. Ah, what? <laughs> ah, now, it didn't even prevent me from going forward. It, like, stopped me there. Huh. That's not good, actually. Hmm. I'm already losing all my lives. I, you know, now that I think about it, I think I kind of remember having some trouble with the jumping mechanic in this game. Like, the grab the the grab the, the ceiling type of thing, you know? There we go. Okay. I've got it now. I, I was, when I was pressing it, I was, I still, I kept pressing it up, so it, it reset me up instead of staying in my current position. So I just have to let go of the up button after I do that, so. Good to know. Ah, God, these guys do so much damage to you. It's not fair, man. Huh, there we go. Man, yeah, hey, we finally got past the platforming. Actually, wasn't that the issue I had in Super Castlevania for those who've watched that one? I think it was, actually. Uh-oh. This guy's a little bit, of, a little bit of a hothead, if you know what I mean. All right, I have the axe. I forgot about that. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you just have to kind of... If you have the axe, anyway, you just have to sit there and keep using it. So. Uh-oh. Huh. Hopefully we can jump just high enough. Oh, yep. Boomerang, I'll take that. I said I prefer that anyway. So we're still going through the Linear Tower of Pisa, are we? Are you sure about that? Shouldn't we already be falling? No. No. Huh? You want to knock me over, do you, Miss, Miss Medusa? You know, if you combed your snakes a little bit, put some eyeliner on, you know, you wouldn't have to do this all day. You wouldn't have to be tormenting vampire hunters in a uh, Leaning Towers of Pisa. You know, you could could have yourself some fun, get dressed. You know, even if you don't want to have that type of evening, you know, you could uh, have fun another way. No, you're not listening to me. Okay. Oh yeah, in the game. Uh, and uh, even though I keep grabbing sub weapons, I don't. Ah, dang it! Oh well, it's only that was an upgrade to get you the uh, the uh, super sub weapon item. Oh well. Yeah, it's not common. I don't remember exactly which candle does that, but but it does, it's a special candle. Anyway, the 
I was about to mention, you can tell which candles are sub-weapon candles. They're different. They're clearly different from um, the other candles. They're basically a single candle as the um, special... Uh, the sub-weapon candles are a single candle, while the special ones are, you know, the... Or the uh, ones with gems are two candles stuck together. Ah. No, nah, what? Come on. All right, next four. I'll just take the loss. Uh-oh. More platforming. Will this be the end of John Morris? I don't know. Uh-oh. No, oh, no. Yeah, look, I had the boomerang with me. What are we doing? We're just traveling outside the the, the Leaning Tower of Pisa? No, oh, more. Yeah, it was some weird magic or something like that, man. Of course, I only got one life. Great. Or one hit, I mean. Normally would be fine, but... Uh, yeah, I don't... I don't want these guys, uh... Getting too many... Too, getting too many numbers, you know what I mean? Oh. No! You... You fiends! You made me get the holy water. I mean, the holy water's good in some spots, but not here. Boomerang is the perfect weapon, actually, for this. But it's because you guys dropped it on me. You are very cruel mister misters indeed. Yes. Oh no. Whew, okay. The back the back swing got him. That's what I was uh I was waiting on. I was like, uh oh. Let's just get out of here. Alright, let's keep going on. Huh? Oh, we got the upgrade again, nice. Which one's this one? Nope. And how long am I gonna keep this one? I really wish you could keep this longer than a than one second. Yeah, the great thing about this thing is that when you use the sub-weapon ability, it, uh, it hits everything, but the problem is, is it uses a ton of crystals. It uses, like, eight crystals, but it'll, like, home in on the guy for, like, a hot minute. All right, let's try that again. All right, yep, Axe is actually a pretty decent weapon for this, for this one. Prefer the boomerang, but hey. Yeah, you saw how much, like, uh, actually, it might be half of your crystals. I'm not sure if it's eight or half. You have to be careful about getting hit by those stones, you know. Yeah, you think the tail itself is what's hit. Yep. Yeah. I I hate the fact that like you, you don't your invincibility spheres is not very long at all. It's like a second at best. And then you're immediately back to uh Oh yeah, the game's taking advantage of mode seven here, as you can tell. Ah, well, I jumped. No. Oh well, dang it. No, oh, that's bad. And yeah, we've only got a couple of hits left on this one. Yeah. Ah, dang it, I thought it was far enough away. Ah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, the thing because the thing's swinging it was moving me moving him into me, you know, so. Whew. Alright, John Morris says his journey is not quite over yet. We got many more places to go. What more creatures will we fight? What awaits us beyond? What other places of Europe? Are we going to get enough greeting cards? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Castlevania Bloodlines. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.